guys it's marisa welcome back to my channel how are you so today is a big day for me i cannot wait uh i am currently i don't know i think it's about nine no gotta be like eight something in the morning i've been up since 6 30 um and i am waiting for my amazon delivery so until then I am going to take you on a quick little tour of uh, what my studio looks like now. Uh, I mean, you see it every day, whoever watches my videos, you know. Um, but I kind of cleared a lot of it out uh, in the space I usually work. And you know what? Let me put this on. My good friend Sonia gave this to me for Christmas. There we go. So cute. I love that. I love little fountains and stuff. So yesterday, um, a delivery came for my um, Lunar New Year decorations, and I got so much. It was only like $10 plus tax, and I got so many things in it. It's really awesome. It was like a 26 or 30 piece set. So let me, I'm gonna show you a couple things real quick, and then I'm gonna show you my studio empty. And then, um, yeah, you'll see it. Um, actually, let's just start off with this. So yeah, I cleared everything out. There are my little ring lights. I just got one there, I don't wanna blind you. Uh, I may get another ring light depending. I need more light in here. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna move all that stuff in the corner uh, because I'm thinking of putting my table across this way, like that so I could stand here and that way this little area here will be free because my mother is older and she needs room to walk because a lot of times she'll like walk behind if I'm like on the floor here working and stuff she can't pass and then she'll like walk behind my couch and that's not safe so I'm thinking about putting the table across this way and I could stand here, but you'll see it when I set it up. And yes, yeah, so like my little ring lights and I tell you, I have my, I'm holding one. I got, literally I got three. Where's my other one? There's two down there and one here. So I have a lot of options as far as like, um, uh, you know, uh, camera angles. I just want to like have more options, you know, and more place to uh, work. So yeah, there's my pouring masters. There's the primal flow. I cannot wait until my next um, shipment comes. I told you I got that subscription box. So I'm really, really psyched. And here's some of the work I've been doing recently. All these guys. And that's my first resin piece. It needs some work, but you know what? Not a bad um, job for the first time. And look at all these cups of paint. That's why I wanted to show you because I will have to do another leftover paint um, video soon. Uh, leftover paint painting because look at all that. I mean, and some of them are actually quite filled, especially the primal flow. You really don't need a lot of paint to make a painting, which I've noticed. It's highly pigmented. Um, it just flows beautifully, and you don't actually need a lot of it, and you don't need a lot of the medium either. So Artsy Farty Lovers put a comment yesterday, I believe. Uh, you know, she's like, you never say which one you like the most. I'm gonna be honest with you, right this minute, besides Flow Troll, um, I do like the Tri Art Medium and the flow troll, I have to say that the um, Primal Flow works wonderfully and not just with its own paint, with other paints as well. So anyway, that's that. Look at all these. They gotta be like 20 in here now, so I gotta get uh, busy. So here are some of the decorations that came with this kit. I, and some of these things I've had already, but this is new. My two little paper lanterns and my dying plant from the summer. It came with all these little window decals. Uh, they just stick on 
with uh, like static, static cling. So these are beautiful. I love these. And yeah, so I have all this stuff over here. I had this guy last year. It came in this cute little bag. It got a little damaged, but all the stuff came in the bag. It came with the red envelopes, which um, I have already. It came with this thingy here. Um, I had red envelopes in the bag, and I got this um, like firecra firecracker, you know, the uh, confetti thing. Uh, actually, last year at the uh, Lunar New Year Parade, and this is from, I got a store around here. And this is some of the stuff I had already. These are from like past years. So this is my, um, I do want to call sign or whatever. I'm a metal dog, but this is the dog. Um, last year, 2019, was the pig. That's my piggy back there. I just recently started collecting these. I, got, I get these in, um, this really awesome Asian market that's literally like 10 blocks away from me. Um, so yeah, so I had some of this stuff. I got this at a parade as well. And yeah, so I am looking for my rat this year. And I don't want to miss it because people are, I'm sure, starting to buy them already. Um, yeah, so that's some of my decorations that I had. There's another doggy. It, um, was it two years ago? Was my year? So, but it wasn't a metal dog year. I forgot what dog was it because there's metal, earth, air, fire, and water. I actually looked it up and I remembered it now. Um, that is a gift from my husband for, for Christmas, uh, Harley Quinn. I love uh, comic books and stuff. I love DC and Marvel. Let's see. Alrighty, what else do we got here? We got the little, it's so cute. I love how like the male and females are presented. So you get the little male rat and you got the little female rat. So cute. And then this guy, the fishy, the double fish, I looked up, I knew, I knew it meant like abundance and stuff uh, with the fish, but also that symbol that's what, this is why I love Lunar New Year, because it's, it's very meaningful to me, not just like with our New Year, a lot of it has to do with like partying and making resolutions that you never keep and just like getting drunk and who you gonna kiss at midnight. I mean, to me, that's just like, eh, you know, um, and you also have to just have fun, but um, anyway. The double fish also means that you want to protect generations to come and wish them health, wealth, fortune, and abundance. It, it, I knew it meant like abundance, um, but yeah, it's also about protecting your family from ge for generations to come. And I got this last year um, in Canal Street with my friend Sonia, which I am going again with her. And let's see, I have the Christmas lights still up here, but I love the white light. And it looks so pretty against like the red paper. So let me show you the doorway from back, hold on. From back there, so you have the couplets that protects the entrance. So this is so pretty. I mean, I can't believe all this came with it. I might know it's just paper, but it's a lot of stuff. Happy New Year. Gong Shi Fatai. Please don't come for me. I hope I said that right. Um, I know I said it right, but my pronunciation may not be all that great. Uh, yeah, so, and then I want to show you my front door. That's my laundry bag. You don't want to see that. All right, here's my painting again. Oh, yeah, I also put stuff on the inside of my door. So, look at the Chinese characters here. This is so pretty. And, I'm, whoops, I'm just going to show you my front door. And, yeah, I've gone nuts, so. But, um, yeah, so that is what my outside of my front door looks like. 
the couplets, welcoming in the new year. Um, there's a lot of cleaning involved, like the sweeping, um, cleaning out your home and bringing in new things for the new year. It's a lot of food, traditional foods. Um, I usually get a lot of dumplings. And yeah, so we're back in here. I want to put some more paintings up here. This is one I made. Actually, here are some other recent ones with those crazy cells. And then this is the New Year's Eve inspired um, painting, or one of them I did. So yeah, but I want to put, I have a lot of space on this wall. I had my um, st Christmas stockings there. And then there's my big lantern. Yeah, so I am excited for this new year and I can't wait. I am going to the Asian market. Maybe I'll vlog that too because this, this market is really, really uh, great. People, hopefully, they don't um, kick me out. So yeah, I think this is all pretty. I mean, for $10, I got a lot, a lot of stuff and there's a couple more things in here as well. So yeah. Um, actually, I have been over the for years now. Uh, Mandarin is an incredibly difficult language to learn. I chose it because it is one of the most difficult languages to learn, I believe, especially for English speakers. Um, I'm half Puerto Rican. I don't even speak Spanish, really. I understand some of it. Um, uh, I do understand. I can speak a little bit, um, but it takes me too long to you know, translate in my head and then speak Spanish, you know, so that's kind of hard for me. Um, I'm only half Puerto Rican, my mother is not, my father is. But I've been teaching myself Mandarin for years. I mean, it's not consistent, otherwise right now I would be closer to being fluent. Um, yeah, but um, I love the language. I love learning. I have practiced the characters as well. I'm actually starting to recognize characters, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I, I found another new app to teach myself. I have tons of like DVDs. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of it is writing, speaking, you know, listening. So, and but also you have to use it. That's the issue, because obviously no one in my house speaks um, Mandarin, but if I was around it more often, you know, um, I would probably learn it. But I have a lot of movies that I actually like listening to in Mandarin uh, with the English translation, and now I'm actually recognizing certain words. I'm like, ah, I know what, I know what they said, which is really awesome, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, so... I will see you guys in a little bit. Um, the next time I will be on is when this table comes and I'll have it all set up. So for now, Zaijian, which means goodbye. And I, you will see this all set up in three, two, one. All right, guys, are you ready? I know I'm building such hype up, and it's only a table, but it's much more than that to me. So, you ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, yeah, baby. Nice, huh? Very cool. 47 bucks. Um, you know, actually, my post office wound up uh, delivering it. I got it through Amazon. So, uh, sometimes they send it through uh, the post office at the last minute and I am so so happy so I did wait quite a few hours but that is perfectly fine because the two things I wanted to show you came I still have some other stuff you know like just some canvases coming I had to get more butane of gas um, what else oh yeah I ordered some varnish um, and I had asked another YouTuber what she used uh, because it really came out beautiful. 
So I got some Liquitex varnish, and I also got um, some brushes to use the varnish. And I mean, I think that's it. So yeah, um, I think that's it. But anyway, so here are the beautiful little rounds that came yesterday. Uh, the wood rounds for the uh, Lunar New Year um, giveaway that I'm going to be making. I'll be making more of them. There's 30 of them. Um, this sucker here, the milk paint. Now, I thought this would be a bigger bag, but it just said 30 grams. So I don't know what I was thinking that it was going to be this huge uh, bag, but it's in the color linen. And I figured that would be really nice for like a just like a bottom coat, like a prime coat, um, just to try, try it out. Because this brand right here, Miss Mustard Seed, is really expensive. I think Folk Art also has some, and I think you get much more uh, for the same amount of money. But I just wanted to try it like mixing it myself. I mean, basically like this stuff is used for furniture and stuff like that. Um, it's just $10. <laughs> But I hopefully, like, you know, when you add water, um, you get a lot more out of it. But I just wanted to try it because I may not like it. You know, maybe I'll try. If I do like it, I don't know if I'm going to be spending 30 or $40 on this crap. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Seriously. Um, I may just try the folk art if I do like it because pff, I'm not spending any more than this. This is crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, just like on small paintings, I could try it at least, you know. So yeah, I thought this is kind of cool. So that's the milk paint I wanted to try. Um, yeah, and this is my setup now. So I brought a little, I have these uh, fold-up chairs that are really, really nice. A friend of mine gave them to me a while ago. They're fold-up, so I mean, I'm probably not going to keep it here. If I need it, um, I'll bring it out. Um, I have them in the kitchen stored away. So yeah, if I want to sit down, um, you know, whenever um, I hit, I think it's a thousand, you can do a live. Uh, like I said, I'm using my phone right now. Uh, my computer's a desktop and we would have to spend a lot more money to get another router for some reason. So it's just really not worth it. So I'm going to wait to get like a, a laptop for now. My phone is just fine. Uh, making videos. Uh, oh yes, yeah, so that's another thing. I have an SD card, so that's kind of boring, but not to me. Uh, it's a 64 gig uh, SD card for my phone, so I can switch my SD card out. And yeah, this is my setup. Um, I can. I was thinking about putting some stuff, not too much stuff, because I don't like clutter. Um, but like my kits underneath the table, so that way I can. Um, they were actually right here. They were in my way. So I'm trying to make room here. And this is a four foot by two foot. So this is perfect. And then I could actually do bigger um, paintings now, up, obviously up to four feet or whatever, or three feet, four feet. And um, I could use this guy here and put my camera right here. I could get like a perfect angle. And then this is like my overhead shot, um, what I use when I, when I paint. So that's my little setup. Um, I have my little uh, mats here, my silicone mats. And I actually took the Christmas slides, I repurposed them, and I ran them across the side here to give a little, I love Christmas slides, but just white. Um, it gives a nice little glow back there. And I actually um, put, the Christmas lights across my wall as well to accent all my uh, Lunar New Year decorations. Yeah, so that is, I've been, you know, it's just been $50, but you know, sometimes you just, other things pop up where you just need to put your money in other spots, like food and other bills. So, you know, <laughs> and I think, you know, a lot of people go through that, but um, yeah. So, oh, and really quick, since I'm here and I actually have a table, I can lay everything out. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Um, this dried beautifully. This is the feather. So I just might as well put this all in one video. I just did one coat in the back here on the back. I'm going to do another coat so it's as pigmented as the front. 
but you know when you pour the paint is thicker but this came out beautifully just perfect you know just smooth and yeah so I'm gonna do another coat here I just hand painted that um, we were very over we already went over that and these guys here um, Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. I accidentally touched this last night, so now there's a little dent, a slight dent. I mean, it kind of goes with it, but I'm annoyed at myself. But anyway, this dried beautifully as well. So, um, yeah, this is the little, you know, the little set. So, yeah, that's how that dried. So it really dried beautifully. Um, you know, that Parma Flow is just gorgeous. Oh, yes. And, ooh, I am so excited. My Parma Flow, the everything is coming tomorrow, which will be Saturday. I am so happy. So, like, my varnish is coming tomorrow. My brushes for the varnish and my Parma Flow kit is coming tomorrow. Um, the Parma Flow will be coming through regular mail, so they'll just leave it. Um, so, that's cool. And I am excited. So unboxing coming soon um probably over the weekend at some point yeah maybe oh maybe tomorrow tomorrow will be going out at some point but later in the afternoon and yeah so i hopefully a lot of times the packages not the regular mail but the packages come early in the morning or late so it's either one for some reason so but either way even if it comes in the afternoon um i won't be going out till later uh, late afternoon, so I'll be able to do that unboxing hopefully tomorrow. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, little new studio tour. I don't know what else I need for now. The next thing is really a laptop, you know, and like a camera and stuff. But honestly, you know, my phone right now is doing the trick. And I edit and I do everything on my phone. Um, I'm actually enjoying that. It's very convenient. So, you know, but that's later down the road and I am in no rush. So thank you guys so much for being here today and sharing this with me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.